And tonight with new information in a cybersecurity breach affecting patient information at Prisma Health. The hospital has started letting former patients know by mail who may have been affected. It's approximately 19,000 of you along with 3,000 volunteers. Our Lauren Thomas is in studio tonight with more details. Lauren. According to a release sent to News 19, Prisma Health found out about the cybersecurity breach on August 29th of this year, two months ago, and say they've been investigating since then. According to Prisma Health, an employee's login credentials on a Palmetto Health website were compromised. And as a result, that login allowed access to patient pre-registration and volunteer registration information. According to the release, the personal information affected may have included individuals' full names, addresses, date of birth, and health information. And in some instances, social security numbers and health insurance information were affected. Other information, like medical records, were not affected. While they informed us that they do not go into detail about their security measures, Prisma Health says they investigated the incident thoroughly and blocked inappropriate access to the website. The team member's password was also reset, and they're also working with a third-party security firm to assist with the investigation. But this isn't the first time Prisma Health has had an incident like this. In the past three months, there have been three other incidents where patient information was compromised. Those other incidents involved a notebook being taken from a doctor's car. Now, when it comes to this cybersecurity incident, the hospital says individual patients with questions or concerns can call a toll-free number at 1-888-479-9996. And anyone whose social security numbers were potentially involved, they are being offered one year of free identity theft insurance and credit monitoring. Now, the call center will be open for about three months, 90 days. So anyone who has questions or concerns, they can call that toll-free number. Reporting in the studio, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX. All right. All right, Lauren, thank you.